From the revived ancient Silk Road linking influential continents to an innovative football stadium, doubling as a shopping haven and an extensive 40-year water transfer plan in the making, China is demonstrating a profound commitment to engineering, creativity and space. Let's explore some of the most significant mega-projects currently underway in China. One notable initiative is the revival of the ancient Silk Road, announced by President Xi Jinping in 2013. The Silk Road is a historic trade route that dates back centuries, where Chinese traders journeyed to exchange goods, particularly silk, along a network of roads connecting Asia and Europe. This ancient trade route played a crucial role in global trade during the days of the Roman Empire, facilitating the transportation of Oriental silk to Europe. The ancient Silk Road played a vital role in facilitating the exchange and spread of valuable goods across continents. It remained in use until 1453 CE, when the Ottoman Empire closed off trade with the West. In 2013, President Xi Jinping introduced a restoration initiative, renaming it the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. The economic belt along the Silk Road is home to nearly 3 billion people, representing the world's largest market with unprecedented potential. China plans to make significant investments in the project, with an estimated expenditure reaching a substantial $1.3 trillion by 2027. Now that's crazy. Next is the Guangzhou Evergrande Football Stadium, 1.7 billion. This architectural marvel isn't just a stadium, it's a visionary masterpiece set to outshine FC Barcelona's home turf to claim the title of the world's largest top-level professional football stadium. Designed by the Shanghai-based American architect Hassan Sayad, located in Guangzhou. The stadium's design draws inspiration from the city's status as China's flower city. Construction of the lotus-shaped stadium began on the 16th of April 2020. With the stadium envisioned to be the future home venue of the Chinese professional club, Guangzhou FC, estimated to cost about 1.7 billion. The stadium on completion would have the capacity to seat 100,000 spectators, offering an unparalleled football experience. Picture yourself in one of the 160 VIP boxes soaking in the excitement. But this stadium is for more than just football. It's a multifaceted destination blending sports and entertainment seamlessly. This project goes beyond mere seat numbers. It aims to leave an enduring mark on the global stage by adhering to the highest international standards. The stadium was initially set to be completed by the end of 2022, symbolizing the rise of Chinese football on the world scene. However, plans for the stadium were abruptly halted when the Evergrande Group, the world's most indebted developer, withdrew from the project despite construction being underway. In September 2021, Evergrande Group declared its intention to resume stadium construction despite financial troubles. Despite the company's claims of ongoing construction, reports indicated that work had actually ceased for about three months. By November 2021, the Chinese government took control of the stadium with the aim of selling it to a different company or transferring ownership to the state-owned Guangzhou City Construction Investment Group. However, due to the 2022 Chinese property sector crisis triggered by Evergrande's immense debts, existing contracts were terminated and the project was ultimately cancelled. Unfortunately, the realization of this project seems unlikely. Another significant undertaking in China is the South North Water Transfer Project, poised to transform the country's water landscape. Unlike a quick solution, this is a long-term marvel that has been in the works for 50 years, spanning from conception to commencement, and it is expected to continue construction for another 40 years. The project, initiated by Mao Zedong's proposal in 1952 to address China's water scarcity, officially started in 2003 with a budget exceeding 79 billion. This multi-decade endeavor reflects a commitment to solving China's water challenges by diverting water from the south to the north. Made up of three main routes, the Eastern Central and Western Route, it is one of the largest and most ambitious water transfer projects in the world. By the year 2050, when this ambitious project is set to be completed, a staggering 44.8 billion cubic meters of water will flow annually. The water transfer project isn't just about redirecting water, it's about connecting China's four major rivers, the Yangtze River, Yellow River, Huaihe River, and Haihe River via three meticulously planned routes 
that snake across the eastern, central, and western regions of the country. China is investing an estimated $62 billion in this colossal project, surpassing even the controversial Three Gorges Dam. Stretching an incredible 4,350 kilometers, the project will have a profound impact on the lives of over 500 million people, showcasing China's relentless engineering ambitions. Another remarkable engineering achievement is the Chengdu Metro, an urban rail line navigating the vibrant Sichuan province. Taking us on a journey through time and space, each station narrates a unique story. In December 2022, Chengdu marked a pivotal moment in its history with the unveiling of the Metro, featuring a network of 12 lines covering 518.9 kilometers. These are not just lines on a map, they serve as links connecting communities and cultures. The metro system boasts 373 operational stations, seamlessly connected by 46 transfer stations. Chengdu's metro story started in 2005 with the approval of Lines 1 and 2, with Line 1 making its first debut on September 27, 2010. In no distant time, the system evolved into a labyrinth of 12 subway lines and one light rail line. Phase 3 came in 2016, unveiling five new lines, marking a chapter of unprecedented expansion. With this phase, Chengdu Metro became the fourth largest subway system in the world. In 2019, the fourth phase of the metro began in introducing eight new lines. The ongoing fifth phase, unveiled in 2023, promises a substantial addition with 10 new lines covering almost 2,000 kilometers, being constructed by the close of 2024. Chengdu's rail transit network will sprawl over 700 kilometers. China is also looking at integrating an AI by 2025 to seamlessly guide the entire operation, showcasing a commitment to technological advancement. Char Metro will carve its mark as the pioneer of AI maintenance robots, a groundbreaking development that propels the Metro into the realm of artificial intelligence. Similar to Chengdu Metro is another exceptional billion-dollar project, the Chongqing Kunming High-Speed Rail Project. This high-speed rail network whose cost is expected to run into billions, will pass through the Three Gorges area. It is designed to handle bullet trains, which will effortlessly race through the mountains at a speed of 350 kilometers per hour. China already boasts about 40,000 kilometers of high-speed rail, with the eight vertical and horizontal Chongqing Kunming High-Speed Railway spanning over 160 kilometers, nestled within this expansive network. Previously, a journey from Chongqing Kunming to Beijing took a substantial 20 hours aboard ordinary trains. With the introduction of high-speed rail, travel time is expected to fall to seven hours. How incredible! Another ongoing mega-project in the country is Hainan Island. Located in the South China Sea off the southern coast is the second largest island in China after Taiwan. Known as Hainan Island, the Hainan International Tourism Island project is being developed by the China State Council. The project was first announced in 2010 and it was officially launched in 2011. The total investment for the project is estimated to be around $50 billion, and the project is overseen by the Hainan Provincial Government and a number of other government agencies. A number of international companies are also involved in the project, including major hotel chains and theme park operators. Although the island has long been a popular tourist destination for domestic travelers in China, the new tourism project aims to attract more international visitors. Haiku International Airport is the primary airport serving the island and is currently undergoing expansion as part of the Hainan project. The island's capital is Haiku, and its largest city is Sanya. The Hainan International Tourism Island project is slated for completion by 2025. Nevertheless, island development is an ongoing process, and it is anticipated that new projects and advancements will continue beyond 2025. The project is already making a substantial impact on Hainan, with tourism numbers experiencing rapid growth in recent years. In 2019, the island welcomed over 70 million tourists, aiming to reach 100 million visitors by 2025. Even before full completion, these projects highlight China's serious commitment to infrastructural development and underscore the country's ambitious approach. These revolutionary mega-projects, once finished, 
will not only enhance the aesthetics of their respective locations, but also bring positive benefits to local communities. Creating opportunities for new industries and new businesses to thrive will result in a more diversified and resilient economy that can support the prosperity and well-being of China's people for generations to come. So what do you think about these projects? China spends a hundred billion to build this mega project. Well, I am sure you are going to love to watch our video about China's new one trillion mega project on our channel. Make sure to subscribe to us and never miss our amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.